Hey guys, welcome back to my God of a Ragnarok playthrough. In the previous episode, a lot of things happened and I honestly don't think I expected any of it. So first of all, Atreus and Kratos had an argument again and then Atreus decided to run away and what better place to run away to than Asgard. We had a pretty bad encounter with Heimdall, he was pretty rude but at least we got rescued by Odin and Thor. Yes, it feels very weird to say those words out loud. Now we're supposed to meet Odin in his study and and yeah, not sure about this whole situation, but without further ado, let's get right into it. Catch you later. Bye, Thrid. Yes, I, I understand. Yes. Do you see me nodding and saying, yes, I understand? You see, I... talking I... to his raven. Uh-huh. Yes. Yes, all right. Mm-hmm. You see, th this is you not letting me talk. No, Hugin, I, I don't need my ears clean. Hugin. You need to stop croaking and, and, and accept the answer you know I'm about to give. Unusual sort behavior? I was just looking at this. I don't think. I've had that since. Huh. Who can remember? <laughs> you, you have a name? Ingrid. Ingrid? Really? Sure, why not? Yeah. Take he it. made that you up. Like it that much? On the spot. For real? Consider it a perk of the job. Thank you. I mean, really. And they say I'm the bad guy. Come on, let's walk. That does not negate your bad dates at all. You're welcome. You can still be an awful person, or in this instance, awful god, and make great gifts at the same time. Ingrid. I found a magic sword in Odin's study. He says her name is Ingrid and that I can carry her while I'm here. She seems really happy to be getting out and seeing some action. Do swords get bored? I wonder where she came from. Okay, and then we have Thrud. I'd heard Magni and Mori had a sister, but I'd forgotten about it until she had her sword in my face. Thankfully, she's nothing like them. The way she talks about Mori and how she's better off without him makes me realize what it must have been like growing up around such a creepy bully. Still weird sleeping in this room, but Thrud seems great and I hope I can get to know her better. I guess there is good people, even among, even among the easier gods. Yeah. Maybe. Okay. Walk with me, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Everyone's got me all wrong. You think war oh. drives me or power, wealth? Nah, never have. You know what drives me? What I really want. I want answers. Same as you. See, mortals have it easy. When they push up against life's big questions, they can look to us. To give them meaning, divine comfort. <laughs> we both know that's a sham. But when we have questions, why are we here? To give meaning to mortals while living without it ourselves? No. We're more than that. And I found something that proves it. Oh, I guess he found something that proves it. Cause I can't go anywhere else. What is it? It's what drives me. You feel it, don't you? Feels like knowledge, truth, all truth, all the answers. We can find out why we're here. Learn how to change our fates. Stop. Ragnarok for good, maybe? Save the people we love. How? I was a young god when I found it. Spent lifetimes studying it, following every clue down every dead end. Looking for and finally unearthing this. You see that? It shares the same mystical energy. But what is it? It opened a crack. Can we just look inside? I wouldn't recommend that. 
Okay. Now we know what that happened. I can ask for. Recognize any writing on it? These aren't from the Nine Realms. Oh no. Obsidian is Is it about Muspelheim? Smoldered earth and obsidian spark and a field of battles never fought. This sure? sounds like Muspelheim. There's a festive clue, I know what it means. And what's that? Keep working with me and find out. You don't have to kill anyone, you don't have to betray your father. Or yourself. Come on, I know you felt what I felt. The answers are in there. Let's get them. I mean, you translated this language like it was nothing. If I do help you, what's next? Thor, get down here. Oh, Father. Don't do that. What's next is chasing this down. <laughs> Take this and this stealthy side of beef. See where it takes you. I don't promise anything. Nonsense. Happy hunting. And you, go easy on him, you hear me? Wallet's it time with Thor. Now, that is something I never expected to see happening. Who's behind? The rest of the mask is here. To where our father knew. dropped us. What do you think? Just take that and do your damn job. New lore entry. Thor. Let's take a look at it. Uh, here, friends and foes. And there it is. I never heard any stories about Loki and Thor going on adventures together. This may be the strangest part of this whole trip. I definitely agree. Thor doesn't seem happy about it or anything else for that matter, but it's what Odin wants and that means Thor will do it. Even if he'd rather smash me with his hammer instead. Hopefully while I'm here I can figure him out a little better. So, where are we going? How the fuck am I supposed to know? Allfather thinks that you know what you're doing, so do it. Are you going to be my bodyguard? The mask is attuned to the tree skull and will ready at light when he's following the correct path. Okay. Here. Well, it seems like we go through this rock. Ah. I was going to get that. <laughs> That's With why he's here, arms. I think. Look at him go. Isn't he majestic? Beautiful. Sif and him are such a power couple. Oh, wait, that is really cool. You can maybe help. Right? Wow, not a scratch. I'm guessing there. here. It looks like there might be a ledge we could reach. If we too slow. Hey! Oh no! Are you gonna help now? Grab people like that? No, oh, what else do they throw you? <laughs> the day's young. Remember the Muspelheim trials? Bro. There's things up there 
hitting us with fire. Use your bow already. Sorry. Sorry, Father Thor. It's your fault if you get hit by fireball. Oh, shut up. I took my blood payment from your father for what happened to my sons. But I haven't taken it from you. Yet. What do you mean? Later. Don't want to keep the All-Father waiting. Speaking of which... Mask. Right. This way. This way. Come on, Thor. Head through those rocks. Hey, can you? Yeah, that. Just imagine what it can do to us. Is he gonna be condescending throughout this whole journey? Just wait till he finds out I killed his son. And oh, not it Kratos. This way. It is! I just wanted to see what's over here. Yep. Well, this isn't the right way. Ah, oh my gosh. Oh wow. Is that some kind of anvil? That looks amazing. I guess we're gonna get there some time. I hear a bird, actually. But I'm definitely not able to access it just yet. If it ain't there, let's keep moving. Come on. Why did he tilt his head like that? There was no one behind him. Or is he doing that for the camera, man? All right. We are full on everything. Oh my gosh. You want to talk about blood payment? What about the giants you killed? They were my family. Thalmor, Ronan, they were your people too. The giants were blight on the Nine Realms and I reveled in every single one of their deaths. Let's just change the subject. Y you know, uh, last time Father and I were here, we beat every one of Surtur's trials. Think you could... Don't. I really thought he was going to able to lift that. Maybe. Oh my gosh, okay. Alright, right. how do we do that? Well, we just gotta get it to the fire, which is probably not that hard, I'm assuming. See if we get it. Oh. I wouldn't worry about this now. Yeah. Oh, really? I should get back to Thor. All right. If you say so. He's taunting me. Come on. Listen, Modi had some problems, but he was my son. And the only reason you aren't mush right now is because of that broken piece of wood. Look, clearly neither of us can do this mission alone. And I want to impress the Allfather just as much as you do. You don't have to like me, but... We're gonna have to trust each other. Just a little bit. Trust.
This will not end well. Gonna say something to that? Nice. That's cool. Okay, so where's the mask saying to go? Oh, wait. How do we reach that? Hey, kid, where's the mask pointers? Oh, what? That's cool. Hey, Krabby. Check the mask. Shut up, Thor. You were ta taunting me all the way along so far, so. I'm gonna stall a little bit. Just for you. Somehow I don't think the mask was telling us to go here. Oh shut up. I think hey, I hear kid, a damn bird. Where's the mask pointers? Thor. Come on, big guy. Intentional. This can't be the way. Where's the birds? Probably on the outer side of this, huh? Let's see. Not this way. Somewhere this way. Mask is uh pulling this way. We'll have to find some way down. Sure thing. I wasn't playing you, by the way. The crowds are fun. Don't you ever have fun? You're so different from your daughter. She's seen. Hey, I'm looking. Thor. Oh, hey, chunky boy. Whenever you're ready. Did he intentionally avoid the talking about his daughter? Thor, what the? Ah! Wait, Sutter's shrine. You didn't die over there, did you? Almost. Why is there all these vases here? Looks like there's only one way. No, but I was thinking. Well, that's your problem. I do. Oh no! The trials are just past that cliff. Might be something we'll do to do. First, we deal with them. Come on, Thor. Just check them out. What have you got to lose? Time. <laughs> That's right. Just try it. You getting tired? Not in the slightest. No, go away, go away, go away. Uh, an ogre. Worry? Not in the slightest. Oh shit. Another ogre? Dude. Short on time, I'll humor. 
Bullying. The All Fathers waited hundreds of winters. He can wait a little more. Falcons die. Some spe uh, special falcons that disrupt enemies and dive into the ground. This is what we have right now. We have the uh, the deer, or whatever that is. Um, I really want to try this. It's fun. Fine. It's fun. Stay right. Here. Yes, sir. Faces, it never stops. All right, where did he? Oh, there he is. That should keep him busy for a while, hopefully. Investigate service shrine. All right, let's go, go, go. Do you trust the ace here? I mean, I know I can't trust them. I just need them to trust me. But that's only gonna happen if they think I trust them. Yeah. My father and I visited this place the last time we were in Moose Bahan. Oh, right! It's like forever ago. Wait. So I just go, ah. Uh, wait, curly up, and then. like this. No? No, ah, like this. Alright. Here's the shrine. You can just hear <laughs> Thor in the background. Raging. Where are these things coming from? Shit. Ah, can't you guys go fight Thor or something? Let's get this. Is someone else alive still? I don't think so. easy to startle. I, How? I, I didn't. What are you doing here? A girl can't visit a shrine of her own volition? You're here for Sorter's marble. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> You're out looking for more giant marbles? You know what this looks like, right? 
like the life story of one of our people. And also maybe a storage closet. I hope Thor doesn't come back. No. This looks an awful lot like Defying Destiny. <laughs> the question is, what are you doing here? Rewriting my story. Chilling with Thor. Odin gave that to you? It's not. Well, it did, but it's not. I'm not working with them. I would never tell him anything about Ironwood if that's what you're worried about. And I'm definitely not serving him. It's prophecy's words, not mine. I've got a marble to find. You're welcome to help if you want. Yes, 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 please. Fine. But are you sure you're up for breaking the rules like this? There aren't any prophecies of you collecting any marbles. Our endings haven't been written, right? Come on. Chain. <laughs> There, a sentient sword, huh? Another marble, Surtur's. No soul in it, though. So he's still oh. out there somewhere. A while back, you talked about how the giants left. You ever think about them? All the time. They're far from here, far from Odin and Thor. But I wonder what lands they've gone to, what seas they've crossed. Why? I want to find them. I'm going to save my father and then I'll find them. It's starting. Who is that? Not Surtur, that's for sure. Look at all that frost. Sinmara. Hmm. Don't think I've heard of her before. And here comes Surtur. Wow. This must have been some fight. Yeah. yeah. Until it wasn't. They just stopped? Oh, no, no, no. Look, it's because they fought together. Looks like they even became friends. Friends? A little uh, bit more than that. Good friends. Are they? Yeah. I think they are. Oh, well that's... Good for them. But it Amen. Looks like their, um, love caused them to combine into some kind of huge creature. Ragnarok. And then... Ragnarok destroys Asgard. Right. I saw that in Groa's Shrine. Well, that was... something. Oh, hey, remember the snake we put that soul in? Can't really forget that. I saw it. It's getting... bigger. This is like, your ring under. Faster than normal, bigger. Yeah, I had a feeling that would happen. Huh. I'm gonna hang back here. Don't want your, uh, friend to see a giant he missed. Of course. Just be careful. Please. You too, Loki. Bye bye. Hopefully, see you later. Hey, Ingrid. Think Thor died from. You thought you could defeat the god of thunder? Oh. Sounds like he's having fun. Let's go. He didn't even notice. But we're so sneaky and fast he didn't even didn't even notice. Oh, I admit, that was fun. There were mountains of corpses by the time I finished. Cut down like lava ran red for their blood. True. Hey, you want to help down here? Wouldn't think you'd need my help if you beat all those trials. Or did you just watch your father? No. Hey, what's taking so long? Oh, shut up. You wouldn't believe the scores of these things I just killed. It was glorious. I want to kill the hundred of them. I think you're Maybe right. even at this spot. 
she'd be faring better than you at least. Oh, shut up. She has a natural buff, okay? Thanks. You could have done that at any time. You seem yep. to be handling yourself well enough. I, was I know. Trusting you. It would have been faster though, Mister. Let me check. Mister, we can't waste time. Looks like we need to head through that gate. Yeah, probably Four. this. Ain't that impressive? Real gods. You are a god. You're damn right. And so am I. Yup. You're not special. I could look at him all day. It's here. This is the spot. Well, where is it? In the lava? Sticking your hand in lava is never gonna feel good. I wasn't thinking. Good. It's better that way. All right, let's get out of here. Oh. Okay. Don't try to play me again. You're an okay kid. You're still a giant, and I'll revel in killing you too. What did you do, Loki? The rift got brighter. Look, we did it. Look, one of these phrases is complete now. We can read it all. But you can't translate it. Not yet. See, I got a little theory. I think if we can find the rest of this, we can use it to look into that without, you know, losing an eye or worse. Yeah. Look at this. We make a good team. Don't we? Don't we? Make a good damn team. Just like you and Balder. You both behave out there? Thor was really great. I learned a lot from him. You learned something from him? Really, now? <laughs> okay. What did you teach the kid? Nothing. What could I possibly teach him? Exactly. Ah, I was wondering where that went. Actually, I had a... Pretty good idea. Change of heart. I'm not really sure why I came to Asgard. But I realize now it wasn't to be a spy. I need you to know you can trust me. And if I'm gonna help you take this to the end, I need to be able to trust you. And trust is earned. I get it. Take this, figure out the rest of it. If you're staying, that is. You're gonna tell me what you're really looking for in there. Translate that, and I'll tell you everything. And on that, young man, you can trust me. You always this hard on Thor? Seems like you're mad at him or something. Yeah, that was unnecessary. Getting, nosy. Getting personal. Oh, shut up. Uh, skills. Let's level up a bit since we have some XP. Alright. Um, even bigger barrage of burning arrows. Yeah. Repeated headshots deal additional damage. Sure. 
Hex explosions caused by Etrius Sigil arrows have an increased area of effect. As always, I'm just gonna do all of them. Atreus gains an additional runic arrow. Yes! Sure. Yeah, Le less resistance to stun. Powerful heavy attack. Okay. I actually gotta memorize these at some point. It's like, if I do them, they're kind of by accident, which sucks. I know. I'm just really bad at memorizing all this shit. <laughs> Shield strike. Feeling high stun. That's nice. Uh, evading. Yeah, that's nice. All right. And we only have one more left, so... Yay! Oh, I get it, but it's nothing like that. It's... Well, to be honest, it's the only language he understands, and I'm serious. Go ahead and try being nice to him. See where that gets you. I mean, we were nice to him in most of time. And he kind of seemed to... Like, let his guard, guard down a little bit? At some point? Yo. Full on legendary chest. How could you hide that from me, Odin? Glimming moonstone. That was not there. Accessory. No. Alright. No idea where that went. I'll see it while editing. Probably not a big deal. Huh. Dragon skull in the library. Not yeah. Big deal. So about the sword. Is Ingrid the name of the soul inside it? I wonder why I can't hear her. Soul? Oh. Who says anything up? Look, son, some free advice. You don't want to let anyone catch you talking to your sword. All right? It's a bad look. Shut up. All right, I don't think there's anything else here. Hugin. All right, let's go. And he's gone. Can I look at what he's been doing here? Definitely not. That would have been cool. many chests and loot. <laughs> Throw it, I'm back. Huh. Huh. Are you trying to make friends now? Well, I just aided the All Father. You said that makes us allies. Yes, as long as you had no treacherous. That's what I told Corsetti. Interesting. You don't really know quite what you're doing here anymore. <laughs> Sometimes I envy the All Father. He always no shit. sees the best in people. While all I see is what people really are. Nobody ever says what they mean. Some lie to the world. Some lie to themselves and don't even know it. And then there is you. You don't know what you want. You don't even know who you are. But I hope you do know this. I will be watching. Why not try to destroy a mountain and use it? Sure, bro. 
whatever floats your boat. This is not Sif. Where did she go? Sif! Darling! Hey, you're back! How was it? Did father behave himself? Yeah, I mean, better than I would have expected, I guess. Is that the sword from grandfather's study? Oh yeah, her name's Ingrid. <laughs> Hi, Ingrid. Wow, all father must really trust you. Well, glad you survived your first day. Hey, me too. Tomorrow we talk about Valkyries. Definitely. Sure. So how long does he plan on staying here? Oh my gosh. Did you think that I would be? Well, I mean, it's pretty... I'm not angry. I'm concerned. You know that's not what I want for her. You don't want her to have a sword. But it's not about having a sword. It's about what you use it for. I think you know what I mean. Yeah, I do. And I don't want that for her either, okay? You don't have to worry. She's a smart girl. Smarter than her father. <laughs> well... <laughs> When you're right, you're right. <laughs> These two. <laughs> so cute together. Uh, come here. That's the point where he's like, no, not anymore. Let's go to sleep. Poor Kratos. Good morning, brother. No news, I'm afraid. I have a plan. Do you not? The Nords. You found them once. Could you do so again? I could try, but I don't see how that they would help. They are the fates of these lands, are they not? I would know what they know. You may not find them cooperative. As long as I find them, where do we search? Midgard. But if Atreus is an Asgard, there's no getting him back without an army. We should be raising one. Yes, nothing like a catastrophic war to improve the situation. The boy seems quite capable, perhaps if you simply give him some time. You are not free of blame here. You encouraged his foolishness, his confusion. I do not seek war. If Odin has stolen my son, do not doubt the lengths I will go to. Your nature has always been clear, Kratos. But you, Freya. War is a first resort. That's not the Freya I knew. I hope the Norns can give you the counsel you need. 
Perhaps mine is no longer of use here. Oh. Tear, stop. This is no time to define ourselves further. Come, sit, please. You have been quiet. Frankly, I'm surprised you of all people would seek out fate. But your instincts haven't let us down so far. Let's find the norms. The word of fate. Who am I to offer him counsel? I only hoped to help the boy find his answers. And I failed. What's my role in all this now? Tyr, you're at the center of this. You always have been. That's why Odin imprisoned you in the first place. He's terrified of you. I doubt that very much. It's the truth. And not just because of prophecies. No one has ever united the realms as you once did. That is not who I am anymore. I know you feel that way now. I've lost myself before. More than once. But believe me, there is something beyond that. And what is that? Purpose. Purpose is the path that leads you to yourself. So you would have me accept my fate. Lead your armies into war. Secure your vengeance. If securing our justice is not your purpose, then find another for your own sake. All right. Let's see if we missed something. Appreciate it. Yep. I'll heat up the forge. Special item. The amulet. I wanted to upgrade it. Jewel of Yggdrasil. Okay, repair the amulet using resources. Yeah, okay. Do we ever get another amulet or is it just one? Because if I repair all these sockets, there better not be a better amulet out there. Oh my gosh, so many enchantments. Anything for Freya? Freya. Uh, let's sell everything. A Vanier crest? Quite the prize. Right. We can sell these things. Glad to take that off your hands and wash it. And it's covered in blood. Thanks. The Furious Mall, what is it? A work of staggering genius. Well, I have it equipped, so I'm not gonna get rid of it. But they Happy can to go. Your load. Sure, this will be of some use. Hidavillier finest arm guards. That's kind of sad, but our armor is better at this point. Oh, I kind of don't want to sell this armor, you know? I kind of don't want to sell this armor. Want something in particular? We don't have the resources to upgrade, no. We could upgrade this, but no. And for the Valkyrie Queen? Wow, we do not have a wit stain. Kratos? So? Does it hurt? Oh, this? Only when I worry. How would a trace get to Asgard? I'm sorry, but you'd have to ask Odin. He's got control of every path. I know how highly you esteem our expertise on such things, so I'm sure that's disappointing. He's just been one step ahead of us. All right. All right. Uh, skills. Okay, let's see. Damage, sun or element. Um, slice for multiple hits. Let's go for damage. Oh, yeah. 
And then this. Let's... Maybe? Can cause a more severe reaction when striking an enemy in the head or legs? Um, damage. I think I'm just going with damage in every way, except for this. Uh, drag the axe through the ground and rip out ice shards to travel forward and strike repeatedly with high frost. Let's go with protection. Right. Runic arrows still greatly increase status damage. Let's get all of these. Hex explosions. Increased area of effect. Yeah. Yeah. Less resistance to sun. Great. And that is it. We got everything. Um, right. Armor. Right, the amulet. Um, Sword of Lime's honor. Should we just uh, put the third Swirlheim thingy in there to so have a see? It's um, a set bonus. If we have uh, three out of three, then there is a bonus, uh, which is increased stun damage inflicted based on Kratos' defense. So that is nice. When I will have one. Yeah, um, but I've noticed. That in Vanaheim there's like a huge oh my god. My cat is on the table. My cat <laughs> I got jump scared. My cat is on the table. Alright, um whew. in Vanaheim there's a huge area that we didn't explore yet because it's cut off, so I'm guessing we will come back. Ah oh, that looks awesome. So we will come back there at some point and get everything. Oh my Hang gosh. on! I got something for you. Sindri! Coming! Before you go traipsing off into the dawn, I thought you'd like to have this back. Aww. Hmm. Well, don't go getting too cheery about it. But you're welcome. I've collected what we need to find the Norns. Shall we go? Yes! Guardian shields. I mean, the shield we have right now... Wait a second. I'm just gonna show you quickly what I have here. Who's that? That's a little baby. And she wants to go... Wait, look! <laughs> this is a very important uh, thing I had to do. Um, a shield fit for a balanced defense. Right. But our shield right now... It's gonna battle with the stats. I guess if we upgrade the Guardian Shield, maybe it's gonna be better. But at this point right now, just looking at the stats, this one is better. I suspect we may have consequences to look for. Oh no! I'm sorry. Who's that? Is it coming? What do you need to talk to him for anyway? Not acceptable. Oh no, we <laughs> we killed his oh Oh no, we killed his little friend. Squirrel. Ah, Big Master friend. Kratos, my apologies. Madam Nithog's disappearance weighs heavily on my mind. She a friend of yours? Less a friend than another long-time tenant of the tree. She was here even before I arrived, and that was ages ago. To even think something could keep her away from her babies. Terrible, just terrible. I'm sorry, I feel bad. But we did what we had to do. It's Odin's fault. Alright, the world of fate. Sentry's... Sentry's house? <laughs> uh, Niflheim. Adrian's the old seeds collected one. We will go to Niflheim at some point, just not now. Alfheim, right, we do have a quest in Alfheim. 
just like in most will harm. Word of fate. Oh yeah, Midgard. I'm thinking right now, should we go to Alfheim maybe first? Should we do this very quickly? Oh, it's right there. Okay, well, I guess we gotta go here. Because um, there's this side quest. This uh, side quest What's there? that we got Still from the elf. Sands to tie up. We found a hopkeeper out in the barrens, my lady. In terrible pain. We freed it, but there's another in town somewhere beneath the forbidden signs. A half goofer? I yeah. haven't seen one since I was a child. And what else? There's still that secret elven library in Alfheim. Lead the way. Let's go. Freya, I've always wondered, why was Freya so revered here so quickly upon his first arrival? Well, to begin with, it wasn't his first arrival. Very few know this, but Freyr was one of the earliest visitors to Alfheim, back in the dawn of realm travel. Oh? But before my time? Do you tell? We believed for a long time that all the giants had died in the Flood, until one of them appeared in Vanaheim. Let us yeah. wait. Stay alert. Let's see what's here. Oh. More bloody drops. Enemy behind you, Kratos! I I wanted to shield. They will pass. Let's get this one already. Damn it. I gotta get used to fighting as Kratos again. Let's just do this quickly. Nice. What of her? Reminds me of tales of a cruel empress, one too angry to die. We will see. Yeah, we've got so many of them already. I think we actually missed one in Vanheim, since we didn't have one there. But we'll get it at some point. What was that? I'm sorry, I'm I'm pressing it, but it <laughs> Freya teleported. Freya, do you mind picking up that story about your brother? I think you said a giant had appeared in Vanaheim. That's right. Her name was Gerd, and she came offering to teach us the secrets of traveling between realms using Bifrost light. Let's Freya listen. became immediately infatuated with her. He always yearned to wander, and along came someone who could truly show him how. So, wander they did. Exploring the world tree from root to branch. But one day, it came time for Gerd to wander away. Freyr was heartbroken and resolved himself to perform some great feat to win her back. He set his aim on the grandest of gestures. He intended to be the first to find the elusive source of Bifrost light. Wait, let us look this way. Much of the sand has been cleared away. But another storm rages beyond that pass, which must mean another half gufa. Let's go. Ah, it looks as though the light elves sealed off this section of the barrens. Why? Luckily for us, a very considerate goddess has enhanced our magic chisel, and we can unseal it. My, that is lucky. The forbidden sands lay beyond. Contested territory, according to Bela, and another storm to endure. Oh, right. If there's another storm, we better take this.
they're kind of slow. I remember when Freya and I traveled to this realm as children. The desert was healthy and full of life back then. I can't help but fear that era has ended for good and our efforts here are futile. It's a fair concern. Healing this land will take more than a pair of singing Hathgifa. But I have to believe in the long run, we're doing right by Alfheim. They're so slow. They were beaten sand. Well, best we start looking for a way underground. Keep a lookout for a cave. Song of the Sands. I see an entrance. <laughs> there we go. Let's put an end to this. So then we can explore more. Please, I hope Freyr will appreciate our work here in the desert. I wonder if he knows how poorly this realm has fared in his absence. Aye. Hearing the Song of the Sands again is a rare privilege. Even if it's only a solo act. Or a duet, once this Hopgoofa is free. Oh shit. <laughs> What happened here? This architecture. It is not of the Dark Elves. An abandoned ancient settlement by the looks of it. Built long before the Lightwell's creation. More hard map as well. I'd say we're on the right track then. <laughs> Whoa. I did not expect this. What is on that side? Yeah, this is probably where we continue. Oh. Nice. There's nothing. vibrations no effect perhaps okay. a different arrow a different arrow sorry this kind of hive material is sensitive to sound oh nice I assumed the absence of Alfheim's light was an aberration. I didn't realize it was covered by hive matter. Aye. And as far as the Dark Elves are concerned, it's that light column in the center of the temple that's the aberration. Just look at how old some of these surfaces are. Far older than the light well, or even our trapped Hafgifa for that matter. That's quite the empathetic perspective, Mimir. Well, dangle from a burly back. god's backside for a few winters, and you'll find yourself looking for all sorts of new perspectives. Nice. What is up? What is happening here?
Only one more. All right. More hive, but denser. Oh, this works? Okay. Well, there you go. Let's go. Enemy behind you, Kratos! Oh no, not the little ones. Damn it. Where are they coming from? Yeah. No idea where they are. Hi there. Pointing it back. Nicely done. That's rough. Where's that thing? Okay. It's two things. Damn it. Go down, Kratos! They just keep coming. Last enemy. Changes hands often in Nalfheim, or so it appears. Big Vier did mention that these ruins have historical significance for the Light Elves. I assume they're only here to keep intruders out. Well, at least they tried. I suspect the corpse below would disagree. What does it say? Sacrifice. No sacrifice in vain. A corpse lay below this one. I wonder if the poor soul wrote it before it's expiring, or if it was written by the fiend who caused that expiration. Probably the latter. I think we've explored everything here. So... What's wrong? She keeps looking at it. Oh damn. That's a lot of hive matter. 
Just jump on it. Oh. I know. my loot. Nope. That dense hive is blocking the way. Oh. There must be a way past. All right. Thank you. Good eye. Let's continue, shall we? I swear there is cat hair everywhere. She was here for two seconds. Cat hair everywhere. On the mic, on me, everywhere. Oh, come on, just die. There we go. Oh, shit. Ah, there you go. Don't worry, I don't discriminate. I kill dark elves just as much as I kill light elves. No worries. I hope freeing these half goofas will allow them to breed again. It was a dazzling display once. The skies of Alfheim filled with their song. I and they're the breeding? Lack of fresh light that's caused this pair to grow abnormally large. No use in having babies if there's nothing for them to feed on. Trying to protect their children from a harsh world. I can relate. This is just... Okay. It's nothing we can do. Or is there? I think maybe that's the path we come back at. Oh. From down there. Like this. Nice. I wonder if these two comprehend the choice they face in three. What choice do you speak of? The life cycle of the Hafgufa. In order to breed, they must pass on their light to their children. And without life, they will die. I suppose that's all any of us can hope for in the end. That our death has purpose. That we can live on through our children. Well, given Not the you. Chance, I know Sorry, inappropriate. I All right. How do we do that?
Ah. Oh. Like this. Nice. Good. Almost there. Also from here or not? Oh, now we can do it. Right? Yeah. Now he's almost free. There we go. Boom. Well done. Time to send it through. Aye. Yes. Back to the surface then. Oh, what is this? Oh, damn it. I... I swear I wanted to dodge. An enemy like this before. Used. Berksra. If wretches live long enough, they will eventually grow into several appendages and emerge, grow several appendages and emerge from the muck as a grim. Then, once their skinny bodies have had enough carnage and blood, they will grow into a, a larger and even more unpleasant Berksa. Astoundingly, such a transformation takes no longer than a full moon cycle, which speaks to just how much of a Berk. Xra's apparent mass is made of a pure swirl time gas. The stench perm permeates them? Permeates them? Inside and out, and it endures. At least they're a bit easier to hit than their younger, smaller counterparts. Are they? Many of Freya's blessings, I imagine. <laughs> Whispering slap. Heavy runic attack! Yes! We don't even have another one for our blades. A massive fury shockwave attack that sends enemies flying back. Yes! Let's go! Finally! struck the box that could contain all the evils of the world. But no metal could hold such a power. So the blacksmith used the flame of- Kratos, is this a story meant to ease my grief? Perhaps it is just a story. A way to pass the time. I appreciate the sentiment, but, well, your stories- What about my stories? I wouldn't exactly call them a comfort. Fair. Mamir is the better storyteller. Now, don't sell yourself short, brother. You've come a long way from the days of laconic fables. It's okay. Finish your story, Kratos. The blacksmith's daughter was the key to unlocking the box. He died trying to protect her from those who would open it. Well, 
At least it's a relatable story. Damn it. Oh, apparently this works. Somehow. Oh. We are not getting through there. But we are like this. Loot today. Nice. Now we can do. Great. Let's go. Climb up. I swear I wasn't climbing down. It appears we've overstayed our welcome in our time. About to die. <laughs> they didn't even notice. What exactly is this? Right here. Let's go. No comfort. Take solace in knowing you did what you thought. The half Kufas have been released and the sand orbs in the deserts have subsided. Once reunited, they made it, gave birth, and died. Alright. Um, their species will live on. I'm pl pleased we were able to free them and that I was able to spend this time with those who are close to me. These creatures offer a reminder that the time we have with our loved ones is short and never guaranteed. I will remember this moment fondly was best for your son's safety. Even these creatures know there is little choice for a parent. You are not alone. I'm not, am I? And now neither are they. What is that? The statue. They're so beautiful. Well, good luck can get misty. It's beautiful. Thank you, Kratos. This land sings once more. We've done good here.
No. No rush to leave yet, is that? Who knows what kind of adventures await us in a fresh What is happening? Plans. Why did they disappear already? Was that their mating process? And they died afterwards? And these are their babies? Holy shit, nature is so cruel. But what what is this? I really wanna know. Oh my gosh. Hello there, Mr. Bird. Oh, you are so fast. Damn it! Oh, we can A get even closer. Statue of my brother. How quick. I'm gonna cry. Investigate the monument of prayer? Sure. After we get this damn bird. I hit that. I couldn't even hit him when he was super close to me, but I hit that. Interesting. That's odd. The runes are dark. What purpose does all this serve other than a testament to my brother's vanity? Difficult to say without an inscription, but it looks like the elves built this place together, light and dark, which means this would have been their first act of cooperation in generations. A far cry from lasting peace, but perhaps it served as a monument, one that symbolizes the potential for peace. This statue may have survived Freya's absence. But a truce clearly did not. Monuments are useless oh. to those who ignore their message. He didn't create a truce through diplomacy alone. His godhood, his very presence is what healed this land and allowed peace to take root. But once he left, he had to have known what would happen. Well, he had good reason to leave. Some jackass convinced his sister to marry a madman. <laughs> These crystals contain their own life. You're right. Normally we'd have to provide our own. Perhaps slotting a crystal on the opposite side could shed some light on this mystery. All right. monuments are useless why restore this one it was hidden for some time perhaps now it can serve as a reminder hi nothing reminds people of their history like chiseled well-lit marble oh 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 my gosh How do we do that? Oh, I'm guessing like this. Boom, baby. So. We have this one. And this one goes somewhere can I jump over with it or not probably not right damn it why not Critus can lift heavy boulders but he can't do that? I refuse to believe that. Maybe there's gonna be a path here if we place it here. Probably. 
Of course. But of course. What is this blue stuff on the floor? Looks like we can read the inscription now as well. Oh. The light from the crystals. It is in the sand now. Ah. Would you look at that? Freya's gift endures after all. Or should I say? I look the storm. Freya summons a field of electrically charged fireflies around her. That is cool. Let's try it out. His presence. You are not funny. Anything interesting, brother? The Enlightened One. In honor of the Enlightened One, may his gift shine eternal. May his light serve as a beacon of harmony. May peace endure among the elves as we forever bask in its radiant glow. Alright. Guess it's time to head back. Even when Freya was actually here, the peace was fragile. Surely a bit of extra light in the desert isn't enough to make it last. Before I met Faye, I could not imagine a life of peace. After her death, in our travels to Jotunheim, I found peace on my own. It remains my responsibility to make it last. Perhaps the elves will find peace again one day, even without Freya's guidance. His presence continues to guide them, whether they realize it or not. Key elves? Freya, here. What is this? A dawn bloom. You have an interest in botanicals now? I hear a bird. I see a bird. Excuse me, what is happening here? Huh. I guess we need the other health. Or we read that first. Another sleeping troll, courtesy of the dwarves. Is he sleeping? Garrick Stormer. Casualties. Cost 43 dwarven, 22 other. Method of imprisonment, not yours, slumber. Prison location, Alfheim. Date of release, not applicable. It's a troll. Rehabilitation is impossible. Feel free to use a rousing relic if you're desperate to get your skull ca caved in. Rousing relic, okay. Imprisonment overseen by Alvis, Stonefoot, Swartalheim, otherwise known as he who is running out of patience for writing these reports. <laughs> Wake up! <laughs> All right, we need something for this guy. Let's take a look at this. Was there anything here? Anything else? Because I don't think so. Perhaps we can bring these two animals back to Vanaheim. Or Midgard, even. Specky and Svana could use the company. We have kennels. It would not go well for them. Once a predator becomes accustomed to a land, it is cruel to move them. I suppose you're right. It just seems lonely out here. It is peaceful. Oh. They have each other. It is enough. Great, this will definitely be a bit hard. I can't even see the other ones. Alright. 
Oh my gosh. Come on. How? They were definitely connected. They are definitely connected. What are you saying? Nice. One more. We don't go up here. But where's the last one? Lads, I thought death had cured me of my appetite. But damn if I can't stop thinking about the smell of tear stew. I wakened a fair few culinary cravings, did. Black pudding, haggis and neeps. Oh, porridge and honey. What about you, brother? Any pre-fimble winter foods you're aching for? Olives. Olives. What the an olive? <laughs> Yay! Let's go! Well, we're not gonna be exploring everything today, obviously, here. Since that would take way too long. So... Eat an apple, we need two more. Let's see if there's something very close by. But otherwise I've been recording for almost two hours. And I don't want to make the same mistake over and over of recording for way too long, so... I don't think it matters how many episodes this game has anyways. Since I really enjoy it. Rhea, returning to the story of your brother, you said he made it his mission to find the source of Bifrost light. He did indeed. And he succeeded, although quite by accident. Freyer believed he navigated best while fortified by a potent blend of Vanir herbs. When he wandered, he wandered. And he managed to wander from the World Tree directly into the Lake of Souls. Set that aside for now. Come. Of course. Just die. Let's first look at... I mean, can we do that? I don't think so. Let's try again. Nice! Turn it to here. Nice. Huh. Oh. Nice. Oh, well, lady, I was curious about some of the flora we've encountered on our travels. And yes, let's go. You will remain curious. It's not my job to teach you everything, Mamir. Look, I was just asking. And you have been told. Oh, you can say that again. Is 
damn it. No way. No way. <laughs> How did this take me so long? Alright. So there is this gray thingy and hair in the air. Still don't know what to do you know, with those grapes. I wonder if these two are the descendants of the Gulon he brought here long ago. That explains how they got to the desert. Another gift for the Dark Elves. Another key, eh? Sooner or later, we're gonna have to find a lock to put them in. Alright. A Light Elf statue in the desert. Ah. Aye. Fair bet, this is the sanctum Big Veer spoke of in Van Eye. But... Um... I think we're gonna be um, stopping our exploration of Alfheim for now. We'll yeah, definitely go back. He said he wandered from the world tree to the lake of... Where do we go? It's true. Here, right. The elves have never seen anybody come out of the lake before, so it got some attention. Oh, that is bloody hilarious. I don't know whether he worked his charms at that point or they just assumed him to be a great deity. But of course, he hadn't made this journey in search of responsibility, so he didn't stick around long. Still, the legend of his manifestation was passed along through the ages. It even endured after the Great Division, remembered by Light and Dark Elf alike. So when at last he returned, he was uniquely situated to gain the trust of both sides and help to create a truce. No more for now. Focus. Oh, sorry, I did not want to interrupt this. But anyways, we're gonna be stopping here for today. We did lots of things. I've been recording for more than two hours now at this point and I have a hair cat here stuck here somewhere at my nose, which is annoying. But that's what happens when you have a cat. We did a lot today, progressed in the main story, um, had some quality time with Thor and Odin. It's insane even saying that. Um, and then we did some side stuff in Alfheim, which is honestly great because the half, the, the two half goofas, they uh, reunited, made it, died, <laughs> and out of them came millions of little half kufa babies so yeah nature is beautiful thank you so much for watching i really hope you're enjoying the playthrough so far leave a like if you want to and as always i will see you on my next one bye